The work of high school students is now placed in the Magathy River. I'm thrilled. It's been a long two-year process. 100 oyster reef balls made from cement are dropped down 14 feet right near Dobbins Island. The president of the Magathy River Association, Paul Spadero, says his team worked for two years to get the permits in place. It looks really good, Paul. MRA had to secure a contractor, Mike McGuire from McGuire Marine Construction, an MRA volunteer who is lending his time, his crew, and equipment. If you have the ability to do something, do it. We'll back up and tell you how this all got started over a lunchtime chat. I had volunteered to help with a, a reef ball construction project that was going on as an outreach at Old Mill middle school north and I was just talking about how he was going out to help make reef balls and Paul was sitting there and he said why don't you see if we can get some for the Magathy and I said okay I'll ask. So the leaders of this program Coastal Conservation Association Maryland gave a thumbs up and the oyster reefs were stored at Cypress Marine in Severna Park for two years while the permits were under review. Back in 2019 Bay Bulletin showed you CCA's Living Reef Action Campaign at work. Students pouring concrete to make 200 reef balls at Ken Island High School. I hope that it's going to help fish have habitat and oyster growth uh, and you know just bring wildlife into the area and obviously I mean the fishermen are also going to love it too because it's going to bring fish to the structure. McGuire's team brought out a 60 foot barge and an excavator. We came up with a rope system it, it's in about 14 feet of water so we had to make sure we could hook up and unhook. To keep straight lines we use some of our equipment our, our skiff and our float to actually make a framing square. Nick Garrett from Sonar Kings used his side scan sonar equipment to show us what it looks like down below. Spadero says they are being placed where oyster reefs were first laid in 2003, impressive for the next generation of river keepers. And this is an extremely a big deal for my dad, so I wanted to be out here to support him and watch him do something that is a little bit bigger than we are. The Magathy River Association has more than 100 volunteers who participate in the Maryland Grow Oysters program where they do so right from their own home, those oysters will be dropped onto the reef balls in June. These oyster growers are, have oyster baskets that are growing the oysters at the end of their piers. CCA's executive director tells us this community effort can be duplicated with other groups. In fact, at least two more deployments are planned for this year. If we can make a difference, we're up for, for doing our part. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.